this is the round for you. There's also five seconds to answer something. This is where you get a timer, five seconds to answer under the pressure. And then obviously, if you do answer it, then you get it right. If you don't answer it in enough time, then you're going to get that wrong. But look, the stakes are high tonight because one of these contestants will be doing a forfeit. Hopefully, it won't be you <laughs> if you are around in the chat. So, guys, if you are ready, I'm going to get myself set up. I will be um, not uh, interacting as much with the comments uh, because this is a soon-to-be-featured show. Um, and, yeah, like, I appreciate everyone being here. And also, thank you for the gifts. I appreciate you too. Um, so let me just break down the rules and the rounds. So you guys there in the chat, you're allowed to play along too. How it's going to work is you've got round one, which is name that phrase. It's like a catchphrase. It's like a well-known saying um, where I'm going to tell you a well-known phrase. And all you have to do is tell me the missing word from the well-known phrase. So if you want to play along in the chat, tell me. If I give you a couple of examples, you can play along. Uh, a round of a what would it be? A round of a, I don't think, a round of a applause. It would be a round of applause. Hey, a round of applause. There you go. So this is round one, guys. So if you haven't played this before, this is what happens when you're in the box with a contestant. Um, it's going to be round one is name the phrase. So you've got rose tinted blank. Rose tinted blank. It would be rose tinted. If you said rose tinting, tinted glasses, you would have been right. Also, you could also have a pause for, a pause for, what do you think it is naturally? A pause for, a pause for thought. Exactly. Boom. Exactly. You would have got that right. So that is round one. That's named that phrase. Pretty simple, right? It gets easy at the start. Anyone can get it, right? Round two gets a little bit more tricky. And as time goes on in the rounds, it's going to get a little bit more difficult. So you've got round two, guess the artist. That's a music round. Do you like music? How good are you with music? Do you think you'd be good at this? Well, check it out. Let's play this together. This is round two. This is just an example, guys. So welcome if you've just joined me. I'm just going over how the rounds work for our contestants when they come into the box. They're going to be going through these rounds. They're going to be scoring points. Those points are going to tally up and we're going to see who's going to be crowned victorious today. But also, one of the losers will be doing a forfeit. So stick around to see who that will be. So the way I'm going to break down the game show for you, round one is catchphrase. Round two is guess the artist. It's a music game. So play along, guys. If you know as well in the comments, if you know what it could be, then let me know. So I'm going to give you a name of a song. You just have to tell me the artist. So if I said God's plan, what would you say? Who, who, who do you think did that song? God's plan, it would have been Drake. So correct, if you guys would have got it. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do another one. So you get the rules of the game. Round two is guess the artist. Easy on me. Easy on me. Who do we think that could be? Popular artist over, over here in the UK. If you said Adele, you would have got that right. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Because I, I love music, right? You, everyone loves music. Shape of You. So that's the name of the track. You just have to tell me who the artist is. If you said the man, Ed Sheeran, you would have got that right. So round three is more or less. Round three is more or less. This is what I tell you a question. All you have to do is tell me if you think it's higher, like, or higher, lower, or more or less than something. So let me just start. So let's do a question. Uh, and then you, you guys can tell me in the comments whether you think it's more or you think it's less than something. Um, I do have, okay, more or less. So, did 50 Cent get shot more or less than 50 times? Do you think he got shot more or less than 50 times? So you, you would say more or less. If you said more, you would have been correct. Because he actually, he got shot nine times back in 2000. Crazy, right? Feels like, feels like not that long ago. So that's more or less, that's round three. Round four is guess the colour. This is where I give you a question. All you have to do is tell me the colour to the question. Simple, right? So if I asked you what colour something is, so I said, what colour is the main colour of an ice dragon? For instance, on the app, we all know what the ice dragon is. What is the main colour of it, though? What do you think it is? If you said, if you said blue, you would have been correct. Also, I'll say another one. 
what color is the middle color of the rainbow? Can you think about the rainbow, all the different colors? What color is the middle color? Hmm, we're thinking about it. It would be green. <laughs> if you said green, that would have been correct. Um, also, what color is a bag of pickled flavored Monster Munch crisps? What color is that bag? Do you remember the color? <laughs> uh, if you do know that color and you got it correct, it would be purple. Um, so that's, that, that's guess the color. So that's a few cheeky questions that our contestants will be up against today. Um, so guys, if you've just joined me, welcome. I'm just breaking down the rules of how the questioning will go for the contestants when they pop into the box. We've got four contestants with us tonight. Um, and we're going to be, we're going to be seeing who's going to be crowned victorious. One of those contestants will be doing a forfeit. So stick around to find out who that might be. Uh, round five is a little bit tricky. It's a bonus round. You only have five seconds to answer. So the rules of this game are pretty simple. You've got to think fast and you've got to talk quick. So literally in this round, you have five seconds to answer three things related to a question. So if you want to play along with me, guys, in the chat, see if you've got it, see if you've got, it, got what it takes. I'm going to give you five seconds. All you've got to do is give me three answers to that category. So name three mammals. Name three mammals. What could it be? Three mammals. I don't know. A dolphin, an elephant, humans? Crabby. You got it in. Did anyone else get that go? We're a bit, we're a bit slow on the typing. We need to warm them fingers up. Let's try one more. So you get five seconds, guys, to answer three things related to a category. This is the round five. This is where you score big points. Because during the scoring, you get one point per correct answer. But in round five, you get 10 points. You get 10 points correct for a correct answer on this. Okay, so let me see if you guys have got it. Name three inventors. Name three inventors. Who, three, can we think three inventors? Uh, Thomas Edison, Tesla. Oh, I'm out of time, out of time. But yeah, it's a tough one, especially when you're in the box, the pressure is on. But welcome guys, if you have just joined me, this is not too shabby with Krabby. This is a game show where we contest the, the knowledge of our contestants to see how well they will fare. Now, believe it or not, one of these contestants will be doing a forfeit and one of them will be crowned victorious and they will be today's winner. Who's that going to be? Wait till we'll find out. I was just going to look over. We did a poll on Instagram. Did you guys have a vote? The audience voted tonight and I looked at the audience and it says that Jiggly Jiggly is the, the people's champ. She's the favourite. Hopefully, hopefully she'll be right. So stick around to see if she is right. So, our first contestant tonight, she goes by the name of Alyssa. If Alyssa is around in the chat, if she wants to jump into the box, give her a round of applause. If she is around, she can jump in. Yeah, she, she needs to have some luck tonight because hopefully the luck will be on her side. If she's not there, if anyone else would like to request the box, um, who is actually a contestant tonight, if they're around. Not sure if, uh, any, I don't think anyone's come through. Oh, there we go. There we go, we got them. There we go. Has it come through? Hello. Oh, you might need to, leave and then come back because I cannot see you at the moment. I cannot see you. Do you want to leave Alyssa and then come back? That'll be super fun. It's a good good time actually to uh, tell you guys about the show. Uh, it's soon to be featured. So please be mindful of the language that you use when you're in the box. It can get pretty tense at times. <laughs> it can get stressful. But yeah, please remain to uh, keep yourself above board. Uh, no swearing if possible. Um, so let's get you back into the box. Can you see me now? Okay, for some reason I cannot see you. Can you, I cannot see you for some reason. You've joined. Everybody else everybody else can. Everybody else can. Okay, why is that? I don't know. How are we doing? Okay. 
Again, I'm not sure why my box is not accepting anyone. Uh, I think the comments have gone potentially as well. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> why is that? Wow. Okay. So it looks like, uh, yeah, we tried that. I think I might have to just restart. Hopefully that's going to happen. Right. I will have to restart and then come back in unless it's going to. He's lagging. Oh, boom. I can hear you, but I can't see you. <laughs> you can hear Hello? me, but you can't see me. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's, that's fine. I've got you. So you can see me. So let's yes. run with that then if that's good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, a lot okay, of, cool. a lot of people are saying to restart though. I don't know if you want to okay. restart. Like I, I'm perfectly you, fine okay, with that. Yeah. yeah let, let's, let's, let's restart it and then go again. I'm okay. not sure why it's doing that. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah. Two seconds. Okay. Right. Be here all night, do we? we want to get we want, we want to get these contestants in? Let's just give Alyssa a round of applause. There we go. Looks like everything's working all fine. Hey, hello. We've got you in the box. So, if, for anyone that doesn't already know you, do you want to give us a, just a quick little introduction about yourself, or if you've got any auctions happening for pretty soon, or? Um, yeah, so I actually had my first auction on October 8th. Um, don't really know what to expect. Um, I just want people to come in and uh, just be there as support. You all don't have to gift me. Um, and as far as streaming, I'm kind of like here and there. Um, but I'm actually just really excited to be here. I'm a little mad at you, Krabby, that I'm first because first does not always mean the the best thing so i kind of have to you know whew, hopefully do you, well I, and then everyone else not I'm do well <laughs> i'm i'm sure you'll be fine I, this you were saying fighting talk before the poll didn't have you as an on, underdog really the poll had you as an underdog um i'm sure you're gonna do fine is there any questions in relation to the um rounds that you've got that you want to get across before i dive into them all but i'm sure you're gonna smash it no nope, let's just dive into it hopefully i don't make a fool of myself <laughs> awesome awesome okay right so um if you could just touch the screen so you can't see the comments if that's okay so there's no confirming guys in the good. comments you're welcome to play along if you feel like you know the answers to good luck let's test your knowledge Alyssa, and let's get straight into the game do you want to pick one two or three or four there's different packs so you're first up, you get the first choice. Number two, two we're gonna go for number two. Okay, so the first round is name that phrase. It's pretty simple. All you've got to do okay. is name the, name the common phrase that you've heard before. It really is that simple. So your first one is bags under your blank. What would it be? Bags under your... Eyes. She's gone bag under your eyes, is that correct? It is. Yes. That's one point scored. Mm -hmm. There we go. She won't be doing the forfeit. It's fighting talk. It's all going well at the moment. We've got Alyssa here. Welcome. This is Not Too Shabby with Krabby, guys. This is a quiz show where we find out who scores the most points. And one of these contestants is going to be doing a forfeit. So stick around to see who that is going to be. Okay. Your next question is little black blank. What would it be? Little black dress. It is dress. Oh, yes. <laughs> she got it. Well done. Congratulations. That's two points already. Doing brilliantly. Everyone else is hating you right now, but you got this, Alyssa. You're doing well. No, they don't hate. Please don't hate me, guys. Please don't hate me. <laughs> okay, we'll find out at the end. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see then. Okay, your last final question for name that phrase is putting all your eggs in one blank. What would it be? Basket. Is it basket? Let's lock it in. 
It is correct. Basket. So that's that's the first round. That's name that phrase. Pretty simple. The questions are simple at the start. They do get harder as time goes on. So round two is guess the artist. Are you good yeah. at music? Do you, do, what's your favorite genre? Do you like do you like music? I like music, but as far as like knowing who the artist is, that that might be a little bit difficult for me. I won't lie. We'll see. Fingers crossed. You have crossed. any favorite songs? What? Who's your favorite artist that you like? My favorite artist right now is Somo. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him, but it's like just very just listen to him. He's very good. Awesome. Let's check that out. Okay, right. So in this round, all you have to do is tell me the artist from the name of the song. Okay. Okay. So your first one is Mamma Mia. Abba. Is it Abba? Correct. There you Woo! go. She's a natural. She's got it. She's got it. Play along in the chat if you guys know as well. Alyssa won't be able to see the comments um, and we won't be interacting with the comments as much as we normally do. Um, but yeah, stick around because one of these contestants is going to be doing a forfeit tonight. Alyssa in the box at the moment. She's doing brilliantly. Okay, your next music related question is the year 3000. Maybe you guys knew that in the chat. The only one that's jumping out at me is Kanye West. Okay, so we're locking in Kanye West, year 3000. I don't think that. Is it the year 3000, Kanye West? Uh -uh. It's not. It's busted. Congratulations to you guys if you've got that right. Um, it's busted, you know, year 3000. You know, you remember that, Jim? No, I don't. She, don't. she don't remember it at all, right? Okay, okay. Your next and final music related question is one dance, one dance. Who do you think that might be? Drake. We've locked in Drake. Did you guys get Drake as well? Because if you did, you would have got it right. Yes. That is Drake. Congratulations. It's going to be more or less. Did you have a go in the comments? Did you get any more or less? Did you, did you know? Do you think it's a bit 50-50? But if you know it, you know it. Kind of. Okay. Okay. Fighting talk from Alyssa at the minute. Right. Okay. Right. Your your first more or less question. Does an airline pilot travel more or less than two hundred fifty thousand miles per year? More. She's gone for more. Is more correct? What do you guys think as well? Is it more? It is more. Ooh. On average, a pilot will travel between 370,000 miles. That's crazy, right? It's a lot of distances. Um, okay, your next more or less question. Play along in the chat as well if you think you know. Uh, are orca whales more or less emotionally complex than humans? More. You've gone for more. We've locked it in. What do you guys think? Is it more? It is. Ooh. It is more. Congratulations. Okay, your final more or less question is, do humans produce more or less than 0 0.4 litres of saliva every day? A lot of saliva, 0 0.4 litres. Hold on. Can, so is it 0.4? Is so it's 0 0.4, 0 0.4 litres. I'm going to say less. She's locked in less. Is it less? Uh, it's wrong. It, it would have been more. So congratulations that. if anyone else got that as well. Uh, humans produce around 0.5 to 1.5 litres of saliva every day. Disgusting, right? <laughs> okay. You did all right. That's your more or less. You're, all doing, you're doing well. We're on to round four which is guess the color all you got to do is tell me what color something is to a question it's that simple okay. um okay. okay okay you feeling good you feeling good about this you feel, you feel like you got this in the bag or you just a little bit maybe i don't know we'll see you're doing you're doing brilliantly i would have to say you're doing well okay right so your first color related question is what is the world's favorite color according to global studies what is the world's favorite color what do we think guys in the chat do we think we know this 
Alyssa can't it, see the comments. So hold on. You said think? the is it weld like W E L D? Yeah. yeah, like the global weld. Like on uh, what does the weld the global studies according to global studies? Uh -huh. What is the weld's most favorite color? You know, what's the most popular color basically? What do you guys think? Oh, I'm gonna say mm, blue. Are you sure about that? I don't know because I. She's gone for go blue. With... Are we locking? We're locking it in. Is blue the answer? It is. Woo! It is <laughs> blue. Um, who would have thought? Hey, eh? congratulations! If anyone else got that right too? Okay, this next um, color-related question is a Disney color related question do, do you like disney films Alyssa? i love disney wow what's your favorite uh disney film aladdin hey okay well i'll try my best but this isn't an added question it is actually an alice in wonderland question oh. Oh. and the, and the oh, question okay. is the white rabbit in alice in wonderland what color was his waistcoat purple have we locked in purple? Did anyone else know that in the comments? Is it purple? Uh, it wasn't, I'm afraid it was yellow. It was yellow. Ah, uh, makes sense. Oh, there we go. Just... I can't. Right, Tommy, the next I can't. question okay. I and say, final question for this will be. Um, what is the first color a baby can see? So when you're a little, little, what's the first color you can see? Red. Okay, you've gone for red. Let's lock in red. Is red correct? I don't think so. It is. Ooh. It is correct. You're smashing it, smashing it. That was a total guess. She's killing it. Guys, you're doing well, you're doing well. Welcome, guys, if anyone has just joined me. Uh, this is Not Too Shabby with Krabby. This is a game show. This is where we ask contestants certain questions, test their trivial knowledge. Um, and for the least, because one of these people will be crowned victorious and one will be doing a loser forfeit. Okay, we've got a list. She's on our final round now. She's been doing brilliantly, but this final round can change the whole game because if you get a question right here, you get 10 points. So mm. it really can change the whole, the whole direction of the game. So you get five seconds. You, you have a ca category. You have to say three answers to the category. Um, the trick of this is to think, um, think quick and talk fast. So you got this. You got this. You can't feel in confidence so far? Not really, no, but we'll see. Let's just <laughs> let's go with it. <laughs> okay, right. Your first category is name three types of coffee. Arabic, or Arabica, decaf, and honey roast. Ah, uh, the timer is gone oh. there. You got them in, but it's against the time, and the clock said no. If you didn't score ah. on that one, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Um, maybe some people in the chats were able to type that quickly too. Who knows? Play along, guys, if you feel that you can get it. Okay, your next question. Your next category. Name three types of bread. Wheat, sourdough, and white. Wheat, sourdough, and white. I think that's good enough. Congratulations. You got yourself mm -hmm. 10 points. Yes. Okay. And your final question for five seconds. This is the bonus round. This is round five. Okay. Name three excuses for not going to bed. Have homework, need to study, have a baby. Oh, we just got a timer, I just went then. Unlucky, I believe the timer went just before you said um, those answers. But that, you did uh, well. You did well. You did well. Crabby, you're there. cheating me. Out. You're, you're cheating oh, me. To on God, that the one. timer went. It was just out of time. Um, congratulations. You actually did really, really well, to be fair. Uh, you Thank landed you. yourself. A great score there. Uh, you've got yourself 19 points, which has been a winning score before. So, mm, we'll see. 
congratulations. Anyone that hasn't already got a list of favourites, have you said, is there anything else that you've got going on um, uh, that you, want, you might want to just plug? Yes, um, Saturday, actually, I have, I'm going to be on Chris's um, game show, which is, has to do with gifts. So come and join that. I totally forget what time that is. Um, name that gift, yeah. Yeah, name that gift. I think it's five. We've got it, Chris, yeah. Yeah, that's a great show. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, um, and then my auction just on the 8th. So just look for me for that. So thank you, Krabby. You're absolutely awesome. amazing. Awesome, awesome, so awesome. awesome Appreciate you playing. And, and stay around just in case you don't win. You might be the person to do a forfeit, but you could be the winner. So thank you for coming in, Alyssa. You, you take care. All right, thank you. O awesome. Cheers. Yo, that was great fun. We had Alyssa there. She was in the box. She was asking um, uh, some decent... She did well. She did score. She scored brilliantly, to be fair. Um, we do have three other contestants coming in, guys. Uh, so, guys, stick around. Um, you might be able to pick up a few points of how the rounds are going to go down. Uh, welcome if you have just bought, joined me. Uh, this is Not Too Shabby with Krabby. This every Wednesdays, guys. This is a game show. I do every Wednesdays uh, at 8 p.m. That's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a game show where people battle it out to get the highest score. The highest score, will that person will be crowned victorious and get themselves on the leaderboard. The stakes are high, though, because one of these contestants will be the loser and be made to do a forfeit. So stick around to find out who that's going to be and what's going to happen. So if you want to give a warm welcome to the next guest, they would like to request the box. Uh, if you've got DJ in the building, some say he's working on those decks. Let's see if he is around. How are we doing, mates? Hey! How are things? Here he is, the man himself. How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Uh, for <laughs> anyone that doesn't already know you, uh, would you like to just give a short introduction? Uh, so I DJ on here. I do music games on Thursday nights. Um, and then I do chill chats, conversations, battles. Uh, and we are currently going for top badge. You had a bouncer castle. Thank you, Joe. <clears throat> that's so, yeah. awesome. That's awesome. That's, no, that's, 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 that's brilliant. I was going to say, you are going for your top badge. So, guys, if you haven't already got DJ favorited, he's doing some music games on Thursday's night. So, go check that out. That sounds brilliant. Um, how confident are you feeling about tonight? Have you been playing along in the comments? I've been playing along. I think the first one I'm going to struggle with because I'm not. Great uh, catchphrase. <laughs> name, name, name the phrase, I see you. <laughs> okay, right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, is there any questions you've got before we begin and get involved in those questions? No. Maybe you could, maybe you could let the audience know what forfeit you, you put yourself down to do. Uh, the old <laughs> the face. So this guy could be doing a pie to the face. So stick around to see if it might be DJ. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Can I just please ask that you just click the comment stream so you can't see any gifts or you can't see any comments. Um, so there's no confirming. Right, guys, you're allowed to play along in the chat. Um, let's go. You've got a choice of a pack. You've got, Alyssa took two. So you've got one, three or four if you want to pick one of those. Uh, let's go four. Oh, okay. Okay, good choice. Okay, let's get let's get to it. So your first round is going to be name that phrase. Um, hopefully, hopefully you got this. Okay, your first question is six feet blank. What could it be six feet under? Is it six feet under? It is. Well done if you guys got that right as well. Okay, your next one for name that phrase is the walls have what? DJ could it be the walls have. Uh, I don't know this one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna, take... gonna have a cheat. Is he gonna take a guess here? <laughs> I'm gonna say eyes. Probably. Do the walls have? Do the walls have eyes? They don't. They have ears, though. The walls have ears. That was the phrase there. Um, well done for you guys if you've got that playing along too. Okay, your final name the phrase question is gonna be. Egg on your blank. Egg on your toast. Is it egg on your toast? 
It's egg on your face. Egg on your face. Uh, eggs on toast are a good breakfast meal, though. Nutritional. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well done. That's your first round done. We're on to round two now. This is uh, round two is the, um, I completely forgot now, it's the uh, guess the artist. And guess the artist means because it's the music round. So I imagine you're going to be pretty good at this, DJ. Fingers crossed. Okay, right. Okay, let's go into it then. Uh, so all it is, play along, guys. If you've just joined me, this is Not Too Shabby with Krabby. This is where we ask some questions uh, with contestants to find out who's going to be victorious. One of these contestants will be doing a forfeit. So stick around to find out who that's going to be. We've got DJ at the moment. He's on a music-related round. All I've got to do is name the track of a song. He just has to tell me the artist who sung it. Play along, guys, if you think you know too. Okay, your first one. Gold Digger. Who could it be? Kanye West. Is it Kanye West? Correct. Uh, your next one. All Night Long. Uh, I know the song, Good. but I can't think of it <laughs> I feel, I feel, I feel like everyone in the comments is just, they just, they just put it in now that they know. <laughs> All night long. You could have I'm gonna have to pass because I can't think. Okay, Leona Ritchie would have been correct. Okay, your next and final. Well done, guys, as well. If you got that right in the comments. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Why did I pick four? <laughs> um, uh, I don't want to put a timer on it. I might have to give you five seconds. I can't think. I'm just going to say steps, but I know it's not. I, he, he, he's gone for steps. Is it steps? Of course he's stepped. Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. There we go. There we go. He's got it. Congratulations, mate. You got yourself two points during that round. So that was a music round. That was round two. Guess the artist. You did well. You did well. You did well. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing knowing that song or not, but... I <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't want to admit they knew it, but it came, it came there somewhere out of nowhere. Okay, round three is more or less. That's basically where I ask you a question. You just have to tell me whether it's more or less than something. Okay, um, do you, are you feeling confident on this one or do you feel like you might, you might struggle? I'm feeling confident, to be fair. Fighting talk here. I love oh. it, fighting talk. Okay, your first one. Um, are there more or less than two million ants for every person on earth? Do you think it's more or less ants? Two million, did you say? Yeah, so are there more or less than two million ants for every person on Earth? A lot of ants. I'm going to say more. <laughs> you gone for more? Okay, we're going to lock in more. Is more correct? It's not correct. It's less. There are estimated only one million ants for every person on Earth. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, your next question. Is the world record for keeping a pair of ferrets in your pants more or less than six hours? A long time. Is the world record for keeping a pair of ferrets in your pants for more or less than six hours? I'm going less. You're going less. We're locking in less. What do you guys think in the audience? If you went for less, you would have been correct. It's only still five hours uh, and 30 minutes. Um, is a world record there. That's a, that's a long time. Uh, <laughs> record, <to be> fair. <laughs> um, I wouldn't want to try it. Okay, right. So your final question for more or less is, was the world's oldest ever recorded tortoise more or less than 200 years old? Less. Gone for less. What do we think in the chat? Have you gone for less as well? If you said less... You would have been correct. 187 year old twice at tortoise named Jonathan. Big up Jonathan. Right, congratulations, mate. You've done more or less round three. We're on round four. This is the colour related question. Uh, when I'm gonna ask you a question, you've got to just tell me what, what colour it is. 
Um, play along yeah. in the chat as well, guys, if you think you know. Um, are you, did you feel like you did well, DJ, in the comments? Do you feel like you were... You were... I've got a few of them, right? So, fingers crossed that okay, uh, we'll smash it. Okay, okay. You don't want to be putting that pie to the face, because that is what is on cards <laughs> at the moment. Okay. <laughs> Your next and, uh, question for the colour-related one is, what colour planet is Mars other known, known as, otherwise known as? What colour planet is Mars otherwise known as? Red. Is it red? It is red. The red planet, Mars. Well done if anyone else got that right. Okay, this next one is Disney related. Do you like Disney films, DJ? I love Disney. There I'm we go. Uh, um, I'm kidding. What's your favourite Disney film? Toy Story all day long. Hey, that's a, yeah, that's a great one. Um, okay, so this one, hopefully you've watched it. Uh, this question is related to Inside Out. Um, and we're looking for what colour is sadness? Have you, seen, have you seen Inside Out? I haven't seen it. <laughs> okay, so this uh, is a I'm guess gonna, for you. It's a guess. I'm going to go with black. Okay, so DJ's gone for black. Anyone else in the comments, do you know what colour sadness was? Is it black? It's not black. It's blue. It's blue. Congratulations if anyone yeah. got that as well. Blue was uh, sadness, yeah. Uh, she, was, she was always miserable, but great film, great film. Um, okay, right, so your final colour-related question. Okay, name the colour that is said to attract mosquitoes. What colour do you think attracts? It's a weird one, isn't it? What colour? Ex- was it, sorry, what was that? Oh, it's frozen. Oh, oh, no, I am uh, here. White. Uh, you, okay, so you've locked in white. Is it white? It's not. It is blue. Yeah, They're attracted to blue. It's blue. They're attracted to blue. That's crazy. <laughs> Who would have known, eh? But you did well. You did well. So that was your colour question. This last round is the five seconds round. So literally, this is where I give you a category. Um, and all you've got to do is tell me three answers for the category. You've got five seconds on this, but you can change things up because you score 10 points per correct answer here. So really, this is the nitty gritty of the rounds. Okay. Are you, uh, are, is there any, are you, are you, are you ready? Or do you want me to? Um... I'm ready. Okay, cool. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Name three types of jewellery. What earrings ring? Correct. Got that in, scored 10 points there. Well done. He's definitely thinking fast and talking quick. Okay. <laughs> Name three sit- sitcoms. Uh, Doctor Who. Uh... Oh, buzzer just went there. <laughs> Everyone in the chat's like, oh, easy, easy, easy. Well, if you think it's easy, come give me a go. Get me a DM on Instagram and come see if you can try it out. Okay, your final question, DJ, is name three things you would find in the Wild West. Uh, Logs, guns, hatches. Ooh, can we confirm that? I think the timer just went out. Just went out. Um, You did well, though, my friend. You did well. Congratulations. I appreciate you coming through. Don't go anywhere. Um, we will check the scores on the doors and you've got 17 as a great score. It has been a win score before. So stick around to find out if you will be the winner for today. Let's go. Guys, please hit DJ the favourite. Thank you, mate, for coming through. I appreciate you. Awesome, awesome. So, guys, if you have just joined me, this is Not Too Shabby with Krabby. This is a quiz-related show. This is where I ask people trivia knowledge to see how well they score. So stick around to find out who's going to be victorious tonight. One of these contestants will be taking the L and be doing a forfeit. So I'm excited. And if you guys want to find out who the next contestant is, if you want to join and request a box, if you are around in the chat, if you would like to request a box, we should have a top badge. Here she is coming through. Round of applause. Hey, 
<laughs> Hi, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Well, for anyone that doesn't already know you, could you give a quick introduction? Um, I am Mordred. I just recently got my top badge about a week ago at Playlist on my birthday. So I'm a new top badge, okay? So put some rust on my name, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm Mordred. It's pretty self-explanatory if you know me, you know? <laughs> Mordred, give her a badge. She's a new top badge. And you got it in a way that no one else would have received it because obviously you went out to playlist, right? I did. I actually, so my birthday was on that Friday, the very first day of playlist. And as you know, if you keep up with the rundown, the rundown is every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I was indeed at playlist on that time. And I was instructed to go up into that room. And I was actually there with past um, top badges or like, you know, known top badges that have been top badges for years. New top badges that are recent. And then like, three other top badges on that day I got bonded with so it was really it was a completely different experience I had Chris Casper live in my face you know <laughs> it was it was at a time for sure yeah once in a lifetime opportunity really so yeah no fantastic and congratulations, it was. congratulations. awesome thank you how how confident are you feeling tonight in this game have you been playing not along? very you've been getting, you've been getting any right <laughs> um slightly the color ones for sure, the colour ones, yeah, but no. Okay, so mm. are you feeling confident <laughs> in the colour section? Okay, okay, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Um, is I say if if you could just touch the uh, screen so you can't see the comments, guys. Uh, if that's okay, and then there's no confirming, uh, and then you're alone. It's just alone now. It's in the zone. We're gonna get these rounds out to you. Your first round is gonna be name that phrase. So these are just common phrases that I ask you. I'm gonna leave a, a saying out. And you just gotta fill in the blank. Um. You have uh, the packs left. You have, um, you have, you have, sorry, you have one and three left. So if you want to pick one of those numbers. One and three, I'll go with the one. Always the one. You've gone for the one, number one. Hopefully you'll be the, the number one winner tonight. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> further ado, good luck. One foot in the blank. One foot in the... One foot in the hole. Is it one foot in the hole? Why are you going to see it like that? It's one foot <laughs> in the grave. It's one foot in the grave. What? Technically, that's a hole. Come on, my man. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. The next question. The long arm of the blank. The long arm of the... Guys, maybe you knew in the chat. You can play along as well. Long arm of the... Spider. Okay, so it's. Uh, is I'm it, really is not it spider? <laughs> Is it spider? It's the long arm of the law. Have you heard that one before? The long arm of the Never. law. Never. No. No. Anyway, right. So it's not just a quiz show, guys. It's educational too. <laughs> okay. Long arm of the law. Yeah. Next question is: Drink like a blank. You drink it. You drink like a. Could it be? You drink like a. Dog? Is it dog? It is a drink like a fish. <laughs> drink, drink, drink like a fish. <laughs> you oh must have God. heard that one. I right? told you I was horrid. I wasn't lying. <laughs> You're doing fine. You're doing fine. It, it's just round one. So we're on round one. We're on round two. Next is a music related round. Do you like music? Yeah, but I'm gonna be real with you. Um, I'm more of like a rap and R&B kind of girl, you know. Oh, cool. So like, yeah, I'm a little that's bit cool. of that's cool. So that's so that's your mm. that's your niche. That's your niche, you know. <laughs> okay, I got you. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna ask you. Uh, I'm gonna say the track of a song. You just gotta tell me what the artist is to that song. So let's get started. Okay, I'm set nervous. you free. Set you free. What could it be? Set you free. This is like, I suppose in some respect, this is maybe, I don't know, this is not British really. I suppose it's a worldwide song. Set you free. Maybe you could, you think you might know it. Does anyone know it in the chat? Set you free. I don't even know it. I want to say Celine Dion. No. Is it Celine? Is it Celine Dion? It's Entrance. <laughs> 
Entrance is a bit of a dancey beat, so probably not your thing. Oh, okay, like, like house party type. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. I don't even know who your, they are. <laughs> your next. Your next one. In the club. In the club. In the club. In the club. Is it fifty cent? Correct. It is fifty cent. Told you. Told you. Oh, they got my first little thing. Told you. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, right. Your next one is payphone. Does anyone know what that is payphone? Can you give? Can, can can we get like? Do we got like little like? Can you give me that ringtone type? You know, give me a beat. Payphone. Payphone. Could it be? Could it be? Have you got? Who do you think it is? Payphone. No. no nothing. No. Nothing there. Uh, Maroon Five. Payphone. Maroon 5. Well done for anyone else in the comments. I love right. them. I should have got that. That's atrocious. <laughs> uh, there we go. You're fine. You're fine. So that was a music related round. We are now on to more or less. It's a bit like 50-50 really. You can say if you think something's more or less than something. Okay. Your next question is going to be the world's most liked photo on Instagram is of an egg. Did it have more or less than 50 million likes on Instagram? I want to say more. Okay, so we're locking in more. Is more the correct answer? Is less. It only had <laughs> 300 and, sorry, 30.5 million likes. I mean, that's a lot of likes for an egg, That's right? the world record. That's atrocious. I'm going to just say, how many people we got in the world and that's a world record? Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, your next question, more or less. Can a crocodile survive more or less than 18 months without eating? 18 months without eating? Less. Yeah, 18. Do you, you think less? How Hungry as a crocodile. Less? Is that right? The answer actually is more. They usually go months without food, but in extreme cases, they can go up to three years without eating. Three years? I tell you what, that goes against every bodily function, you know, with dinosaurs, true. I swear it. <laughs> okay, um, your final more or less question. Are more or less than half a million meatballs consumed in IKEA stores daily. So is there more or less than half a million of meatballs consumed in IKEA stores in daily? So I, um, oh, meatballs no. are really popular in IKEA. So do, really you, do you have like, yeah, like everyone goes to IKEA not for the furniture these days, just to buy meatballs. For the food and the experience, it's an experience. Come on now, listen. <laughs> um, I want to say. You said half a million a day? Daily. Yeah. Do you think more or less? Mum, go ahead. I didn't hear it. No, you're good. Do you think, so we have, do you think it's more or less than half a million meatballs are consumed in IKEA stores daily? Let's go with more. You're going to go for more. We're going to lock in more. What did you guys say in the chat? Did you say more as well? Is it more? It is more. Oh Everyone's going take. mad. Everyone's going mad for those more <laughs> meatballs. <laughs> I got it. Crazy, take. right? Congratulations, you've done really well on that round. We have next, which you said was your strongest round. It's going to be the color related round. This is where I ask you a question about a color. You just got to tell me what color it is. Okay. So okay. we can gain it back. Hello, hi. You got this. You got this. Okay. What color? Is Maggie Simpson's baby grow the outfit she wears? What colour is that? Who is that? So you know the Simpsons, Maggie, no. the baby grow, Maggie She's Simpson. She's a little baby? She's a baby, I think, yeah. I literally only know the Simpsons from Universal Studios, can I tell you? Like, I'm so being honest with you. Okay, when I was walking through Universal, like, well, I, see, I see a baby. Can I say purple? Are we looking in purple? Did you guys know this in the chat? Is it purple? It's not uh, purple. It's, it's blue. We would have said blue. 
blue, blue baby blue. Yeah, do you remember now? A little no. baby bro. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you are you a Disney fan? Because your next question is going to be. I love Disney. Disney. Yes, awesome. I love Disney. What's your favorite Disney film? Ariel. That was a hard one, oh, actually, okay. but Ariel, <laughs> rightfully so. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Okay, so this Disney round is actually part of Aladdin. So it's going to be. Okay. What color was the genie's wrist cuffs? What color were the genie's Gold. wrist cuffs? Are they gold? Correct. It is gold. Got that in the bag. Okay. <laughs> That's good. You you was you wasn't you wasn't wrong. You're doing really well. Okay. The next final color related question. Play along, guys, in the comments as well. You've just joined us. Welcome. Which distinctive color can be found on a Coke Zero can or bottle? Which Coke distinctive Zero? color can be? Yeah. Which Distinctive colour can say be black. found on a Coke Zero or Coke. You've gone for black. We are mm -hmm. locking black. Is black correct? It is. Well done. Oh! You're brilliant. Eh? Three out of three. Oh! Three out of three. But if you've been watching, we all know that this final round is where things change. Because if you don't get a question right here, you're going to lose some points. It's 10 points per correct answer. And this is the five second round. All you've got to do is name three things from a category that I tell you. That's simple, but you do have a timer. The trick of this is to think fast and talk quick. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Are you ready? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Name three energy drinks. Red Bull, whatever that one, Celsius, and... Oh, timer just went out there. <laughs> you was right. You, you got a few. Not not a big energy drink fan. You not you, you drink energy drinks? No, drink actually, often? no, I do not. They're not good for you. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not good for you at all. Yeah, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay, right. Your next one is name three things you can find in the sea. In the sea. Starfish, sand dollar, and octopus. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, I thought you were going to say, hello. I mean, hello. But can you find a crab in the sea? I think you can. I'm here. But well done. You got that one right. Okay, your final, <laughs> final question for the five second rules is going to be, name three things you've searched for on Google. <laughs> I've searched for um, American investors. I've searched for how to make oh, a cocktail. <laughs> time, the time has gone. The time has gone. And maybe you've been saved by the buzzer there. Maybe you've been saved by the buzzer. Uh, amazing, amazing. You've done really, really well on the scores. You have scored a big 14. So give it up, please. For Top badge, Mordred. Please That's give it up for her. Give her. Please give her a favourite. It potentially could be. We have another contestant coming through. Um, get yourself uh, prepared because you potentially could be doing a forfeit depending on how well our contestants score. But I appreciate you coming in and playing. You've been a good sport. Um, but yeah, don't go anywhere. And let's find out who is going to be the next contestant to participate in Not Too Shabby with Krabby. This is a quiz game guys so if you have just joined me welcome this is where we get contestants in to basically challenge it out to see how well they can score one of these contestants is going to be crowned victorious where one of these contestants will be taking the L and doing a forfeit so stick around to see who that is going to be if you want to give a big round of applause to jiggity jiggity who's coming through she's our next contestant hey how are you doing today? Hope you're well. Um, we'll we'll see. I want to know: Are you getting your answers from Wikipedia? <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're all uh, officially uh, official questions. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't just make these up, yo. They all they are found and sourced. 
Um, so I got you, I got you. She's, she's testing her knowledge there. She's like, surely that's not right. Surely it's not right. I'm, I've been, I've been thinking all this year, all this year. Surely people aren't eating meatballs at, at IKEA that much, surely. Um, for anyone that doesn't already know you, would you like to give a small introduction, or if you've got anything going on, like an auction or any anything coming up? I have an auction September 30th that I'm in with Donnie. And, uh, and then I am hosting my first Battle Royale December 9th through the 11th. I still have spots if anybody wants to go wild. it's There's a crazy lineup. It's going to be fun. But yeah, and I'm going to be applying for my top badge once I hit these fave requirements. Lord. So. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And I, I, anything so I know, I, I know obviously going for the badge, you know, get behind her. Um, give that support. My door's always opened. You know, I got you. You know, it's. Uh, definitely a, a, a good a good um a good tool to aim for you know get yourself there and you're gonna you smash it you you're good people i see you so how confident are you for tonight's game and I questions don't know why everybody voted me to win i'm really bad at these you, kinds of things under pressure you are the people's favorite you are the people's favorite so hopefully uh if you've been playing around in the comments you would have potentially maybe got a couple of questions right was there any that you knew a few, a few. <laughs> just the Disney ones, yeah. Just the Disney ones. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Right. So, further ado, if you're ready, we will start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fight and talk. Fight and talk. Fight and talk. Okay. The first round is name that phrase. This is a common phrase that I'm going to mention. You guys can play along in the comments too. Because Jiggly, are you okay just to press your screen so you can make sure you can't see any comments? So it's just me and you here. Pressure on. Let's go. Okay. Blow away the blank. What would you be blowing away? You blow away the. What? Um. <laughs> the wind? <laughs> Where I'm down, I'm down. The wind is the wind has been fully blown away here. Is it the wind? It's blow away the cobwebs. Anyone else in the in the chat? Then we're just like I've heard that all the time. Blow away the cobwebs. You've not heard that phrase? Okay. Your next phrase is going to be black sheep of the blank. You're the black sheep of the family. Yeah, I mean I'm the black sheep of the family. Is it family? Right. Correct. Oh. There you go. You know these. You got this. <laughs> okay, your next and final question for name that phrase. I wish I was a fly on the blank. Wall. A fly. A fly. Is it a fly on the wall? Fly fly. Correct. It is. Um, congratulations, that is that round done. This is the music related round. Is there any um, music that you like? Is there any something that you favor? What's the, what's the type of music that you listen to? I like anything electronic, anything and rap. I like anything that's gonna make me dance. Electronic and rap. Well, I'll try my best. These are random questions, but your first question is name the track. I name the track, you name the artist. Play along guys in the chat as well. Welcome if you've just joined us. Okay. Mysterious girl. Who could the artist be? <laughs> oh no. Mysterious um, girl. Let's just say I am gonna pass. Let's just pass. <laughs> okay, we're passing on this one. Uh, passed on that one. Mysterious girl, Peter Andre. You heard it before, Peter Andre, Mysterious girl. You know heard that? You, you lived in the UK for ages. Surely would have heard that. She, she'd be dancing in the club to that, no doubt. We know that. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> okay, right. Your next question. Every time we touch. Well done, by the way, if you guys got this in the comments. You knew this. Is it Cascada? Is it Cascada? Correct, it is. There we go. Okay, your next question. Well done if anyone got that playing along too. Run the world. Who could this be? 
run the world. Run the world? Run the world, and then in brackets, girls. Run the world, girls. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my God. It's not Beyonce. <laughs> It's not Beyonce. I'm going to say Beyonce. I know I'm wrong, but I can't remember who it is. Are we, lo are we looking in Beyonce? Are you correct? Is it Beyonce? It is Beyonce. There you go. You knew it. Well done. Okay. Right. So your music round, you smashed it. You did really well. The next round is going to be more or less. This is where I tell you a question. You just have to tell me if you think it's more or less than something. Okay. Your first one. Are there more or less sheep? Than cattle in the world. They're more or less sheep than cattle in the world. Play on, guys, if you feel like you know this too. Well, in England, that's all I saw was sheep. So. <laughs> but this, this, is, this is the world. We're not talking about England here. It's the world. Yeah. So I'm are there more less. or less sheep? I'm going to say less. I feel like there's more cows because we eat more beef in this world. Okay, so you, we're sticking with less. Is less the right answer? Correct, it is. <laughs> okay, your next question. Is our solar system more or less than 10 million years old? Is our solar system more or less than 10 million years old? More. We locked in more, what do we think? Is it more? Older. It's less. It's estimated that the solar system is 4.6 billion years old. So, so less. Okay. Okay, right. Your next question. Was the length of the tallest giraffe recorded, which was 5.8 meters, more or less than the longest crocodile? Was the length of the tallest Repeat. giraffe recorded more or less? Repeat that one more than time. The longest croc okay, yeah. So was the length of the tallest giraffe that has ever been recorded, was it more or less than the longest crocodile? What do you think? A crocodile or a giraffe? What's, what's, long, what's tallest? What's biggest? More. So you're going to go with more. What do you guys think in the chat? Let's lock that in. Is it more? It's less. The longest crocodile was actually only measured six point. 17 meters so so wow that's incredible right okay so your next round is going to be the color related round that's when i give you a question you just have to tell me what color that um that you know what what that subject is okay right let's go into this okay have you have you been practicing these ones are you, are you do you feel like you might be good at this like i said You're i don't know why good I'm number one you're doing good. You're doing good. You got this. Okay. What color is Eric Cartman's jumper or jacket? Do you watch really? a bit of South Park? Eric Cartman. Oh, Eric. Which one is Eric? You guys play along, guys, if you know in the chat. What color is Eric Cartman from South Park? Is his jumper or jacket? either green or blue i'm gonna say it's it blue. i'm gonna say it's blue i'm i'm totally wrong okay well she right guys is it blue i don't know red so. it was red it was red so congratulations guys if you got that right okay this okay. next question is disney related do you like disney yes awesome what's your favorite disney film Pocahontas. Great choice. Okay, this Disney-related question is Lady and the Tramp. Okay, the question is, what colour was Lady's collar? Pink. Okay, we're looking in pink. Maybe you guys knew this in the comments. Was it pink? It's not what? pink. It's what? blue. It's Lace. blue. It's blue. Oh, Luke. it was, wasn't it? I'm so mad. Dang it! <laughs> okay, your final colour-related question. 
What colour is Captain Jack Sparrow's bandana? What colour is Captain Jack Sparrow's bandana? Red. Okay, we're looking in red. Is red the answer? It is. Congratulations, you got that right. So that is your colour round. We're now on to the final round where if you've got five seconds to answer three things from a category that I give you. There's a time limit on this. The trick to this is just literally think fast and talk quick. Okay, are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Okay, okay, good luck. Okay, name three famous doctors. Uh, McSteamy, McDreamy, and <laughs> Yang. <laughs> Well, there you go. If you watched Grey's Anatomy, you would have got it. Unfortunately, the buzzer just ran out of time there. So we wasn't able to confirm you any points. <laughs> okay, your next question and category is going to be, name three newspaper cartoons. Garfield. <laughs> time had just went out there, I'm afraid. Uh, you know, you could, could have said a few. Snoopy, Beano, Beano, you know, these old school ones. Um, okay, your next and final related question is going to be, name three things you can roast in the oven. Turkey, chicken and potatoes. Turkey, chicken and potatoes. Yeah, I think that's right. You've got yourself a point. Well done. Ten points there. We're going to round up all the points to find out where you scored. Congratulations. You've actually done really, 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 really well. 16. 16. Um, so congratulations. Thanks for coming through. Um, I believe I believe we will have a winner. Um, who the winner is Alyssa, who's taken the lead. She's won with 19 points. Um, unfortunately, we have a winner if you would like to request a box as a winner, congratulations, Alyssa. You've done brilliantly. Well done to all the contestants that play tonight. But please don't go anywhere because you're going to be able to see the winner get congratulated. But also, do not go anywhere because the loser would like to do the forfeit. Hey, here she is. I had to do it. I had to do it. Hey, she's got yes. her winning crown. Congratulations. The underdog. Yes. I'm so excited. No, Krabby, that was awesome. And everyone else did absolutely amazing. That was so fun. So fun. You've done brilliantly. You scored a great score. I'm going to put your score on the leaderboard. I have that formatted on my PC. So I'm going to put you on the Hall of Fame. So big up, Alyssa. Please hit her a favorite yes. like. Um, and she's been the winner for today. But where there would be a winner, there has to be a loser. So someone's going to be taking it out and doing a forfeit. So are you gonna watch? Are you gonna watch and stick around to see who that's gonna be? Of course, I I have to I have to see it. And you know what? If y'all want me to, do, I will do a forfeit as well. I will go and grab my hot mustard right now and do a packet of hot mustard. Right. Can okay. I, do it? I think the people. I think that the people. Do we want to see this? If you want to put one in the chat, guys. If we want to see these forfeits going through, anyone else that wants to do the forfeit, come into the box and let's see it done. We stuck around this far. Let's see it happen. <laughs> oh, you know what? All right. So I have I have chili sauce and I have hot mustard. Oof. That sounds like some hot stuff. Is this going you know in? Is it just a single or is it all just going in as you know what? one? You know what? We'll just we'll just do both <laughs> at the same time. We'll do both at the same time. I love it. I love it. I got to get it open okay. first. Hold on. Straight right. in there. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, well, that looks nasty. Oh, sh oh. oh. The chili. <laughs> the chili. Oh, I can't. She, she's been. Oh. She's been the winner. <laughs> She's been a winner. She's been a winner. And she still did the forfeit. Fair play. Fair play to her. 
Um, DJ's being a sport. He's coming through. He's going to do his forfeit. He's, what is this forfeit, my friend? Oh! <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Uh, DJ, guys, if you haven't already faved him. Thanks, all the contestants. Mordred, you've been the forfeit for tonight. Maybe she's done a runner. She's a run. She's a run. Maybe she's in here. She's been the loser for tonight. Is she going to be able to do her forfeit? And Jiggly, are you going to be able to do a forfeit too? You may as well all get on it. <laughs> and I don't want to hear nothing about my singing right now, okay? All right, that's what I'm saying. Okay? I have to get in the shower, fully clothed, and I have to sing, okay? And I don't want to hear nothing about my song choice. Heroes. Shut the up! <laughs> Okay, she's, she's accomplished it. Appreciate you. She's taken the L. Well done, Modred. Good sport, good sport. Ho hopefully, 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 hopefully she's, uh, she's going to be all right there. Um, Jiggly coming through. Congratulations to all the people coming through. Appreciate you. Now, Jiggly, what is this forfeit? What is this? That is a spoonful of something heavy. <laughs> It's so hot. It's like the world's like third hottest hot sauce. <laughs> okay, please don't try this at home, guys. We're going to give you a count in. Should we give her a count in, guys? Three, two, one. Oh. Go get yourself <laughs> some milk. How did that taste though? Did it taste all right? <laughs> you look like you're struggling there. <laughs> hey, congratulations. you good sport. <laughs> She's a good sport coming through. And thank you all guys for pulling in and seeing me this week. Um, I've been crabby, not been too shabby. Please favour all the gifters of the stream. We've got Witty, Zoe. Um, Jojo, DJ as well, Smurphy, Jade, Miss Chrissy, Sparkles. I see you guys. Please hit them a favourite. Um, and as well, if you are around next week and you, and you know any people that want to come in and test their knowledge, maybe you think they can get a bigger score than you. Maybe, maybe they will. But I've been crabby. It's not been too shabby. And I appreciate you all coming in. Take it easy and God bless. <laughs>